Pastor Din Padayag here, welcome to Soul Food. Last week, we were studying about God and we learned about His nature, His character, His attributes. And I must say that we are cognizant of the fact that there are a lot of limitations when we talk about studying God. There is no way that we can learn everything about God. As I mentioned last week, studying God is like... Uh, teaching the ant, the insect, about computer. That is impossible to really understand everything about God. But we learn things uh, from the scriptures, and we are so grateful for the opportunity that uh, we have the Bible available for us to learn. Uh, and then uh, I was tempted to uh, add some more, you know, deeper things, uh, something that it's complex and complicated uh, I was just reading uh, some of the materials that I'm getting my lessons from and then the Bible and watching videos about um, God and, and science and all of these things that uh, can be really complex uh, for a five-minute uh, video. But I thought we will just keep our soul food uh, videos uh, simple, short, and devotional because that's the reason why we are doing this. Something that's like bite size that you can use every day as you continue to serve the Lord. So we will just leave the uh, deep theological uh, lessons on longer videos that we are going to plan to make for the Bible students or for other uh, type of studies later. Today we will be talking about the uh, God, uh, as I promised last week, God as the Creator. God the Creator. I must say from the title itself, it's kind of biased because we are already concluding that uh, there is a Creator, there is God, and He is a creative, He is powerful God, and so that's kind of biased. But you see, this is a video with... Uh, spiritual emphasis from the biblical viewpoint and so it is very obvious and that's the type of ministry and um, lesson that we would like you to learn as uh, human beings and as a believer and we are hoping that you will see that in this type of presentation now when i was in the philippines i was uh, as i was preaching the bible i was uh, pastoring a church and doing a lot of Bible studies and teaching and stuff like that. But I also had a special love for science. And, and uh, one time I remembered, every time I go to this specific house, they have a lot of books and encyclopedia. At that time, Google and uh, Internet was not so common yet. I didn't have a computer yet at that time. And so I, I would go to this house and bring my uh, notebook and my pen. And every time I go there, I just copy, I just write down the, the things that really give me a special interest. Uh, the creation, and there's a lot of uh, words like billion of years and, and, and things like that. Evolution and evolve and random. Those type of words that, uh, that are not in, in the Bible. And it's only available in encyclopedia or, you know, in, in other uh, school of thought. And so I, I was having that desire to learn more about secular science at the same time learning and teaching the Bible. And as I study further, you can see these two uh, school of thoughts that they are just too different and they're contradicting with each other. And so as as I uh, continue uh, my desire to learn more, until now, you know, I have a lot of uh, books about uh, science and I watch almost daily uh, lectures and presentations about Bible and science. And so it is something that really I love so much. Now, not just me as I observe uh, in the Philippines and even here in South Africa, I meet some Christians that are teachers by profession and many of them are science teachers and we have struggles also as to which one they are going to hold tight and strongly and and make sure that that is uh, that is something that they are uh, well known of and so people sometimes they come to the point of they are trying to stand on both grounds 
because of the complexity of their jobs or maybe because they have to. That's their job. That's their profession. And so they are believing the Bible on Sundays and other days and then they are uh, believing uh, on evolution or secular science on other days. And so it is very hard really for them. And I can understand uh, some of them are students uh, during the Sunday school, Sunday morning and preaching, they're learning God's word. But then during the week when they go to universities and uh, high schools, they are confronted with another teaching that is totally in contrast and opposite to the biblical uh, truth. So, uh, this week, I'm just going to talk about these uh, things and hoping that we will be able to share a little bit of insights, uh, bite-sized in uh, insights uh, every day during this devotion. Now, uh, as our lesson suggests, there is God, and he is creative, and he is the creator. Now, this must be biased, but again, I want you to learn this. I want you to be a Bible believer. And um, there is God, and there are two views, actually, when we talk about uh, world views uh, of what's going on around us, especially the existence of matter. Uh, there is one that talks about uh, a creator, the creationist uh, worldview. And this is what I'm going to teach you. This is uh, the lesson for this week. I want you to believe that there is a creator, there is God, and he makes the rules, and he is in charge. And he is involved in the affairs of uh, the universe and involved in the affairs of his creation. And this is a belief that there is a creator, he is creative, and he is God, and this is uh, the creationist uh, view, and I'm going to talk about that. Uh, that is very obvious in Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. It says, in the beginning, God. Right there, there is God. It's not the beginning of God, but it's the beginning of the first mention of God, and we'll talk more about uh, this uh, throughout this week. In the beginning, God created, not, not like uh, the world evolved or the heaven and the earth evolved, but God created the heaven and the earth. This is a belief also that uh, God created and he is so powerful that he created everything in just six days. Exodus chapter 20 verse 11, it is saying, For in six days the Lord made, remember that the Lord made, the world did not evolve or came from a uh, big bang uh, 4.6 billion years ago. I mean, it's very clear. The Lord made the heavens and the earth, the sea and all that is in them. And then he rested the seventh day. This is a teaching, a belief uh, that Jesus Christ is God and he is also a creator. In Colossians 1, 16 to 17, it says, For by him, referring to Jesus Christ as God and creator, all things were created that are in heaven and that are on earth, visible and invisible with their thrones or dominions or powers, or principalities or powers. All things were created through him and for him. That is uh, just a portion of the definition or the identity of uh, the teachings of the creationist there is a creator and he created everything that is in existence visible and invisible on the other side on the other hand we have another world view that is totally in contrast and opposite to the creation uh, teaching that is the humanist view or humanistic uh, thought uh, it, it teaches that the universe created us and that man can be God, and we are answerable to no one. So that is uh, the, the teaching, or one of the teachings, and uh, the Big Bang Theory and the secular science fall on this category. Beloved, we don't have uh, enough time right now. Until then, enjoy your soul food. <laughs>